Developing now, the search for victims of a massive house fire. News Drone 2 flew over the destroyed home in just the last hour. Four people are unaccounted for. Channel 2's Tom Regan is live on Oswego Drive, and Tom emergency crews are still at that scene. Yeah, that's right, Wendy. They've been here for over 12 hours now. You can't see it from News Drone 2, but they've been using a piece of heavy equipment. I believe it's a front loader to clear the debris that was, came down when the roof collapsed onto the second floor. And sadly, the search continues for some missing family members. It's very sad because it's, it's about... It's a lot of people that lived in that house. Neighbors awoke to the sound of fire truck sirens and the sight of a massive house fire just down the street, the home of an extended family. And I woke up to a big uh, uh, flame and uh, ran upstairs and yelled to get out of the house. Jerome Harris told me he desperately tried to reach upstairs bedrooms, but was nearly overcome by the fire and smoke. Just got to the top of the step, so that's as far as I can get, because the flames was going through the roof. Fortunately. Some of them got out, but, you know, just four people unaccounted for us. Didn't take but a matter of minutes for the roof to collapse in. In addition to Harris, several other family members managed to get out. There were five that were transported to Great Moore Hospital. They are in stable conditions. Investigators with the state fire marshal's office arrived to assist in investigating the cause of the destructive fire. This neighbor knows the family well. His children play with theirs. I can't even describe, you know. Your heart goes out to the surviving family members. Yes. yes. Another look from News Drone 2 above the scene here where investigators are still trying to find the four people that are missing unaccounted for uh, in this massive house fire this morning. I spoke with several family members, and although the cause of the fire has not yet been determined, they believe it could be electrical in nature. Live in the city of South Fulton, Tom Regan, Channel 2 Action News.